Hello there, this is Chris from Hostcom and this tutorial covers data uploading onto a hosted Vichydal server. Okay, so we're starting from the basis that there's uh, a campaign already loaded onto the dialer. In this case we've got 101, that's our test campaign. And we want to uplo upload some data onto the dialer for that campaign. So the first thing to do is to go into lists from the main menu and create a list. Okay, so add a new list. So we'll give that a three digit number, something like 102 and a name, test list three, and a description. The description can be anything. You might want to put in there the name of the source of the data, whoever supplied it to you. And then importantly, we want to link that to the campaign. Okay, so make sure the campaign that you want the data to go on to is put in that box there. We activate and that's our list created. So that's the container if you like, the virtual container on the dialer for the for the information, the, the, the lead data to go on to. Uh, it automatically opens up the list page and you can see there the list names, the fact that it's active. When you actually start using the uh, list you'll uh, see lots and lots of information on here relating to disposition codes, how many calls have been made, how many uh, leads are left to be called things like that but at the moment there's nothing there because we've got no data on it so let's put some data onto this list so the first thing we do is load new leads this brings up the list loader here okay now this is actually running the uh, latest version so I'm just going to go back to the old lead loader uh, which most of you will have okay so the first thing to do is actually browse to the text the CSV text or Excel file that uh, that you've saved somewhere on your PC okay so we'll browse to that there we go so make sure the file path is in there and then the list ID is the one we've just created 102 and that tells the dialer to load this data onto that list leave the phone code override I know that this text is in uh, the correct format one of the other tutorials that we um, we provide will actually cover how to get the the, the um, data in the correct format. So that's actually covered in another tutorial. So I'm not going to go through that now. This assumes that the list uh, file is in the correct format. Uh, so we keep it in standard format. We've got a few dupli duplicate checks to do here. Okay, uh, for, for the purposes here of this tutorial, I'm actually not going to do any duplicates. But um, you've got an option there of um, system-wide per campaign etc okay lead the leave the uh, lead time zone lookup and press submit to upload the data okay so pretty quickly we've got 13 good and uh, we've got 14 the bad one where there was actually the list headers so that's a successful uh, data upload onto uh, Vichydal okay and if we go back to admin and we look in the list, there's our test list there. And we see we've got 13 leads and it's active. And uh, that's pretty much it. And if we go to the actual campaign itself and we go and check. Yeah, okay. So we can see that we've got 13 leads associated with that campaign and it's active. So that's a, that's a successful upload. Thank you very much. This is Chris from Hostcom.